Who says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. Pikeville Medical Center announced today that around 130 physicians have been eliminated at the hospital. PMC President and CEO Donovan Blackburn said the hospital was, quote, overstaffed and is experiencing a, quote, financial crisis. Blackburn said of the 130 positions eliminated, 30 were eliminated through attrition, while 99 current employees were laid off Friday afternoon. Blackburn said the overstaffing of the hospital began following the opening of the hospital's clinic building. Blackburn said during 2014 and 2015, the clinic opened and new services were added at the hospital and saw exponential growth, with more growth projected for 2016. The hospital projected a need for 582 new positions and around 900 current employees received pay increases. Blackburn said 2016 ended up being the hospital's most successful year ever financially. Fast forward to 2017, the hospital experienced its worst ever financial year and was operating in the red. Blackburn said that projected growth through 2016 never came. He added that there was hope that attrition would bring down the employee count at the hospital, but that also didn't happen on a scale large enough to bring the hospital back into the black financially. Blackburn said the hospital had 260 too many employees and it couldn't wait any longer to act, especially with the hospital's bond rating being lowered by two points. On Friday, the hospital informed 99 employees that they were being laid off. Blackburn said the affected staff members were mostly non-clinical staff, but some clinical positions were cut. He did not specifically state that those affected were staff members who were hired in 2016. One former employee who reached out to us today said she worked at PMC for 29 years and was told by hospital officials that she was selected for layoff based upon a number of factors. Of those laid off, Blackburn said there, quote, were too many employees and not enough work for them, end quote. Those affected by the layoffs were offered a two-week severance package as well as the opportunity to keep their insurance coverage at the hospital throughout the month of June. The layoffs, he said, came after a study conducted last year regarding the hospital's finances showed the overstaffing issue. Blackburn said other steps have been taken to save the hospital money. He also said the hospital is continuing to grow, services and specialties are continuing to evolve, and hiring will continue to accommodate that growth. He added that he hopes that some of those laid off today would be called back as part of that projected growth. Blackburn stressed that the hospital is on good financial footing with its reserves and is in no danger of closing its doors or retracting its services. Pikeville Medical Center still stands as the region's largest employer with more than 3,000 employees. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.